Hello guys, welcome to a new video and in this new video we are going to go over um, uh, section 3.0 for the CCNN security and what we're going to configure is we're going to configure um, remote access VPNs so we're going to configure the clientless SSL and also any connect SSL and then we are going to go and do some site to site VPN and we are going to do that with IPsec, IPsec site to site VPN we push your key authentication on Cisco routers. So let's go ahead and take a look at my GNS3 topology. And as you can see right here, we have router one and router two. And the first one that we're going to configure, the first VPN is going to be IPsec with a pre-share key. So this is a always on VPN that we're going to configure right here. And then we are going to go ahead and configure um, any connect VPN and then clientless VPN. Um, so let's go ahead and start with that. And like I said, we are going to start with um, this always on VPN. So we are going to go over here to R1. And then R1, um, we go, we're going to go in. We're going to go to config T. And over here, let's go ahead and give it a host name of R1. And the first thing that I want to do is create an IP um, access list. We're going to create an extend extended access list and it's going to be call site to site um, to R2 and we are going to permit the source IP address of 10.10.10.0 and the wirecard mask is going to be slash 24 right you can do okay I, I forgot to put permit IP because we are permitting an IP address right if we do a question mark over here, you can see that now we need to um, set the destination and destination is going to be that 10.10.20. So 10.10.20 slash 24. There we go. So that is done for the um, extended access list that we need to create. Um, so now we need to go ahead and define authentication, encryption, and tunnel creation. So you need to go and do a crypto IPsec. Then after that, we got to do a transform set. And we're going to call this transform set to be set to strong. Then we are going to pick the authentication, which is going to be um, ESP SHA using um, H HMAC. And then the encryption is going to be ESP, AES, um, ESP, AES 256. The tunnel is going to be, ah, uh, the mode is going to be tunnel. Um, so, and like I said on a video before that I created, I said that the tunnel um, encrypts the entire packet, even even the IP address and the transfer mode, what it does is it only encrypts the data and it doesn't encrypt the IP, ad IP address. So it doesn't encrypt the source and destination IP address. So since we're going to use tunnel, we are going to encrypt everything, even the true source and the true destination IP address, okay? So then after that, we need to combine the um, we need to combine the ACL um, and the transform set has, as well as the um, peer. And the way you do that, you need to create a map, um, crypto map, and you need to call it R2 map, because it's the map that's going to R2. Um, and we're going to say, this is map number one. We're going to use IPsec, ISAKMP. Um, we're going to set the, set the transform set to equal strong which is the one that we set up over here. Strong, then we're going to set the um, peer. And the peer is going to be um, this IP address over here. 192.168.1.2. And then we need to match the um, address, which is going to be the ACL that we configure, which is this one right here. Go ahead and paste it, exit. Then after that, what we need to do is that we need to actually go ahead and create that um, um, key. So the way that you do that, you do crypto ISA 
KMP, key, Cisco, one, two, three, and this one needs to match on, needs to match on R1 and also R2, otherwise it won't be able to work. And the address is 192.168.1.2. Then after that is done, we need to, um, we need to set the pre-share key and all that good stuff. So the way that you do that is by doing a crypto. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to define that crypto policy. Um, and the way that you do that is by going to um, crypto ISA KMP policy one. And I'm not, I know I'm not going into a lot of details and I'm not going into a lot of details because if I do this video is going to be long. If you want to go ahead and have more details on it, you can just go ahead to my video or to my YouTube channel where I have the video where I explain everything I'm doing um, step by step and what everything means, right? Group two, lifetime, we're going to set it to the maximum. There we go. So now we need to add it to the interface that we are using, which is Giga00, the one that's pointing to R2, right? IP address. We need to configure the IP address because I have not configured yet. Now shut down. Then we need to add that crypto map. And that crypto map, I believe it was R2 map. There we go. There we go. So we had set that crypto map. So that is great. Let's go ahead and end it um, and save it. Now let's do the same on R2. Actually, before we do that, I want to create some um, config T. I want to create some IP routes. So if something is going to um, 10.20.0, I want you to send it to one. Uh, I want to send it to 192.168.1.2. If something is going to um, 10 that route 10 that 10 that 30 that zero which is ASA Japan over here if it's going to Japan then I want it to send it to 145 that one that one that one right so 145 that one that one that one there we go now we can go ahead and save it and now we can go to R2 and configure R2 the same way we configure R1 Oops, enable config t let's go ahead and give it a host name of r2 configure the access list extend it this one is going to be site 2 site 2 site r1 and we're going to permit ip and we need to do the source first and the source is 10.10.20 10.10.20.0 and now we do the destination which is 10.10.10 10 10 10. and then after that we need to um, we need to go ahead and do that um, crypto IPsec this is where we define the um, we define here the uh, authentication and the, the encryption. Um, so we're going to do transform set. It's going to be strong. And then you need to do the um, authentication, which is ESP, SHA with HMAC, and then ESP with AES256. And then over here, um, we need to create the mode that it's going to be using, which is tunnel. Now we exit out of here. And then after that, um, what we need to do is that we need to combine everything into the map. So we're going to create a crypto map and we're going to call this R2. No, not R2 map, R1 map. Um, and then after you do that, you need to do one IPsec. ISA KMP and you need to set the transform set which was set to strong as you can see right here strong 
then you need to set the um, peer and the peer is 192.168.101 and then we need to match or add the ACL which we call we call this SEO site to site R1, site to site R1, all in capital, exit. And then after this, um, what we need to do is we need to create that crypto ISA KMP um, key, not keep alive, sorry, key Cisco123. So needs to match the same as R1. Um, and then the address is 192.168.1. And then after that, we need to create that crypto ISA KMP policy. And the policy um, is going to be one. And this policy one, what we need to do is we need to add authentication, which we're going to use pre-share group, which we're going to use number two, hash, which we're going to use SHA. And let's see what else, encryption, which is AES256. And then lifetime, which we're going to do the maximum, eight, eight, six, four. Now exit. And then we need to just go ahead and add the interface gigabyte slash zero um, IP address that I have not configured yet. One nine two one six eight seven one dot two. Oops, two five five two five five two five five dot zero. Crypto map. R1 map, now shut down, and let's save it. Now after this is done, we need to ping from um, from Firefox. Uh, actually, we haven't configured this interfaces over here, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, config G interface gigabit slash two. 10.10.20.1.0. Now shut down and save it. Now let's go ahead to R1 and do the same. Config T interface give us 0 slash 2. IP address 10.10.10.1. Now shut down and save it now we should be able to ping 10.10.10.2 which is my windows device that's good now i should be able to ping the firefox over here which is 10.10.20.2 yeah i'm not able to ping 10.10.20.2 um, let's see what's going on over here. Double click on it. Uh, let's see if I configure this IP address right. I have config. Looks like we have not configured the IP address. So let's do I have config ETH 0 10.10.20.2 net mask. Route at default gateway. Now, from router two, we should be able to ping. There we go. So we're not able to ping. Also, I need to configure the. Um, I need to configure the some routes. So IP route, if a something is going to this destination, I want to send it to one two one six eight that one that one, which is router one, right? Because that network resides on R1. And then the other one, IP route ten dot ten dot forty dot zero, which is this one over here. I want you to send it to 146. That one, that one, that one. And we can just copy this over here. And 
save it so now from my actually let's do this over here okay well this is good never mind i thought i forgot to add this but it is there now for my windows device i'm going to see if i could ping firefox um cmd ping 10.10.20.2 There we go. So we're able to ping 10.10.20.2. Um, but now what I want to do is I want to see if it gets encrypted. I open it again. Let's go ahead and close this tab. Go ahead to router one. And let's do a debug. Um, crypto, IPsec. IPsec what? Mm -mm -mm. So debug. Not IP, IPsec, crypto engine packets. So what's going on is I'm going to ping on this. There we go. And as you can see, the encryption is working because it is encrypting it. As you can see right here, um, it is working. So that means that it's working. If you do a show I, mm, crypto IPsec SA, you can see that we send seven packets and if we ping again the packets are going to go up there we go to 11 so this is great so now this um, our son VPN is done so we are done configuring that so now what we need to do is go ahead and go to ASA Japan and ASA USA and configure everything um, the first one that I want to configure is uh, ASA Japan um, because any connect takes a little bit longer so I want to go ahead and do that first right so let's go ahead and do enable config T um, let's give it a host name of ASA Japan actually it cannot be in a underscore so we need to do it like this Let's go ahead and configure interface get every zero slash zero, which is the internet over here, and the IP address 145.1.1.1. That one, that one, that one. Name F internet. Now shut down. Now let's go to R1. Now I forgot to. Configured interface gigabit slash one with an IP address of 145.1.1.2. Now shut down. Now from Japan, I should be able to ping 145.1.1.2, um, which is R1. So I'm going to go ahead and ping it. There you go. Do it again. There you go. So I'm able to ping my router, which is good. So now let's go ahead and keep configuring Japan. Config T. Now let's go ahead and configure interface gigabit slash one, which is my inside network. IP address of 10.10.30. That one. Name if inside. Now it's shut. And now I should be able to ping 10.10.30. That two, which is my ASDM, and then I should be able to ping my TACX. There we go. So this is good. Then after that, um, I should be able to go ahead and launch this ASDM. Ten that ten that thirty that one, which is my ASA, my firewall. So I'm going to log in to my firewall. Hmm. Okay, so I forgot to do something on my ASA. Config T, HTTP, server, enable, HTTP, um, 
inside save it so I forgot to just configure the HTTP server on my inside network so that's the way to do it and that way what's going to happen is it's going to allow me to launch that ASDN let's go ahead and try it again 10.10 um, it's going to be 10.10 10 that 30 that one well as you can see it just came up on the first one that I launched say yes log in without using my password because I did not create a using my password but that is fine so great now let's go ahead and configure the VPN wizard and we're going to do a any connect VPN wizard next let's call it any connect and we're going to do facing the internet and if you guys um, I'm not going to go over a lot of details if you guys want to see everything in detail what I'm doing you can just go to my YouTube channel and watch the video that I did on the any connect um, on the any connect VPN um, video so let's go ahead and add a image that is going to be downloaded from my Windows device. Click next, add a username, ask her. One, two, three, one, two, three. Add it. Next, select the pool, new pool. That 20, that, oops. So one and two, that one, six, eight that 20 that one one and two that one six eight that 20 that 20 stop name mask is going to be this one next we're not going to configure that we're going to accept the inside network Just this one right here. Web launch, that's good. Finished. Okay, finish over here. So now something else that it never does. So this one over here does not have a local username. So let's go ahead and configure this one. Apply, save. So now from my Windows device, I'm going to go ahead and launch that so it is on VMware um, let's go ahead to go HTTP s colon slash slash um, 145 .1 which is my server no tanks come on let me see something am I able to see MD Ping 145, that one, that one, that one. So it looks like I'm not able to ping this ASA. So let's go ahead and go to um, router one and let's see what's going on with that. If you do an N, show IP route. So we have one, two static routes, one to the 30 network. It's going to send it this way. So what's going, what's happening is that my the Japan one is not configured with an IP route. So it's going to configure IP route. It's doing IP route. Internet. And what I'm going to tell my ASA <coughs> is that any traffic I want you to send it to the router end it save it and now if we go to this ASDM let's go ahead and refresh it and save it so now I should be able to put this down from my Windows device I should be able to ping the ASA so now if we go to HTTPS 
um, 145.1.1.1 we should be able to get to that firewall with no problem um, so it's a little bit slow there you go details go to the website anyways asker password one two three there you go so now that's going to download and we're going to be able to install um, that Cisco any connect and then that Cisco any connect is going to allow us to um, it's going to allow us to connect to this AS to the ASA firewall there you go you can just go ahead and download it run it so it is downloading and since that is downloading we can just go ahead and set up the clientless VPN connection and one way you can do that is by starting the ASA over here so this is going to be enable config t hostname ASA USA let's go ahead and run this next USA we're going to accept install yes yes finish so now we should be able to launch any connect and IP set uh, okay and then after um, as you can see right here it's asking me to I'm um, trying to connect with the Cisco and connect we're going to connect anyway um, and let's see what happens even though I believe um, I should have um, entered the IP address of 145.1.1.1 because if we do it like this it's not going to work as you can see sorry so 145.1.1.1 there we go so now let's go ahead and start configuring also the ASA USA interface gigabit um, 0 slash 0 I believe that's the one pointing to the R2 router yep so over here what we need to do is we need to go ahead and configure IP address of 146.1.1.1 let's go ahead and connect anyway right here and there we go now it's going to ask us for our password which is one two three and as you can see it is connecting to um, the firewall over here connect anyway it is saying that it's not trusted because we don't have a certificate and we just created our own certificate but um, they're not the Windows device is not able to verify that the certificate is actually good and that's why it keeps asking us for um, for that certificate like it is saying that it's not secure because we don't have a certificate of course so let's go ahead and keep configuring this ASA USA and we are configuring the um, clientless clientless means that we are not using a Cisco and it connect like we're using over here and as you can see we are now connected to 145.1.1.1 and so we're now connected over there what we are able to do is we are able to um, if we do a CMD we are able to ping 10.10.30.2 and 30.3 so we are able to ping these two devices because we are inside that network and also if we just go to HTTP is it HTTP HTTPS maybe 
slash um, slash slash and then 10.10.30.3 we should be able to um, log into the TACX server as you can see TACX GUI so that's going to take a, a little bit but we are able to reach this network over here um, so let's go ahead and keep configuring the ASA USA let's do a name if internet now shut down let's go ahead and configure um, gigabit zero slash one which is the one to the inside network trusted network this one's going to have an IP address of 10.10.40.1.0. Now shut down. Name F inside. Um, we can just go ahead and um, not exit. Let's just go ahead and end it. Let's see if we're able to ping 10.10.40.2, which is our ASDM. And let's see if we're able to ping our TACX server, which is that three. So we're able to pin both of them that's good now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and configure that http server server let's enable it and then http um, and let's enable it so the inside network is able to um, connect and then do inside there we go so now and as you can see over here um we are able to now Log into the TACX server from the Windows device because we are connected to this ASA firewall or to the um, VPN using the Cisco and Connect. And I believe the login is TAC GUI and password is ABC123. There you go. So now we are able to log into this TACX GUI um, over here. So that is working the way we wanted it. So that's good. Now let's keep configuring this um, SSL clientless VPN connection and let's do a route and this route is going to go to the internet internet 10.146.1.1.2 and save it great now let's go ahead and configure a enable config T interface gigabit slash one that's the one going to the ASA and let's go ahead and tell it to um, to add the IP address 146.1.1.2 now shut down and save it and now from the ASA USA which is the clientless SSL VPN we are going to ping 146.1.1.2 and there we go we're able to pin the router so that is good we have a good we have a connection over here so now let's go ahead and launch this asa dm and from here what we need to do is go ahead and launch that asa dm yes allow login and since we have now configured this IPsec with pre-share key we configured the AnyConnect VPN the SSL VPN with AnyConnect now we're going to configure one without the AnyConnect so it's going to be just using the browser that we're going to log into this VPN and then we're going to be able to launch this TACX server as well so let's go ahead and go to wizards VPN Clientless SSL VPN. Next, client less to the internet. So that's good. Next, authenticate using Oscar123123. Add it. And also, if you want to know everything, um, every single detail on this clientless SSL VPN, also you can go ahead and go to my YouTube channel and you can see or watch that SSL clientless VPN connection on video and you're going to be able to see everything I'm doing with more details I'm not going into details now because otherwise the video is going to be way too long so group let's go ahead and manage the group let's go ahead and add it uh, my bookmarks add a bookmark and we're going to add a bookmark that is going to go to um, the TACX GUI 
for the TACAC server, which is at 10, that 10, that 40, that 3. Add it. Next. Finish. Save it. Um, let's go ahead and go to the config to make sure that everything is good. This is a remote access VPN. And that we are configuring two remote um, access VPN, which is the clientless VPN and also the AnyConnect. They're both remote. And the side to side, we configure on these two routers over here, which is IP, with IPsec and a pre share key. So let's go ahead and go to the remote. Let's make sure that the. Mm, group policies, the client list, it is assigned to Asker, so that's good. Everything is good. So now let's go ahead and just save it and open this one over here. And from here, we should be able to ping, let's see, 10 that, 10 that, 40 that, 2, which is the IP address of the ASDM. So we're not able to ping them. And we're not able to ping them because we're not in the we're not inside the the network, so we're not we cannot get passed through the firewall. So if we also do a ping 146, that one, that one, that one, we should be able to ping the firewall. So that's good. Since we're able to ping the firewall, now we should be able to log into the firewall and access the TACX server, which is 40.3. And this is the difference between the clientless and the AnyConnect. The AnyConnect, you use the Cisco AnyConnect to connect to the VPN. And the clientless um, remote VPN, you're actually using a browser. Oh, and I did this wrong. I and mean, we need to go to 140, 146, that one, that which is the firewall. <laughs> we do not go directly to this TACX query. We have to go to the firewall first, right? So we should be, so we can authenticate first. Add an exemption. There we go. And ask her one, two, three. Don't save. And as you can see, the bookmark that we created, it is right here. And that's going to take us to the TACAX server over here. And there we go. So that's going to take us to the TACAX server. So now I want to bring this client to the AnyConnect um, Windows device. And as you can see, we logged into the 10.10. .10 30 that 3. So if we disconnect from the Cisco and connect and we try to go there again, so let's go to HTTP um, 10 that 10 that 30 that 3. Is that what it was? Yeah, 30 that 3 right here. TACX Japan. It's not going to. Um, get us there because we have disconnect from the VPN and since we're not connected to the VPN we won't be able to get there there we go so what we need to do is connect to the VPN and then it's going to allow us to get there and as you can see from the client list we are able to get to the tech XQA as well let's go ahead and log in ABC one two three okay so they are all working as you can see let's go ahead and connect anyway um, one two three is the password um, so as you can see guys, we have now configured a IPsec with a pre-share key, which is a site-to-site -side or always on VPN, because it is always on. Um, and then we have two remote um, connection, which is the AnyConnect and the clientless VPN. Um, so that means that um, we are able to connect with Cisco AnyConnect, which we are doing right now, so we can reach the TACAC server. And the clientless is the one right here that you need to access the vpn through a web browser okay guys so i believe this is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys love this video or even like this video go ahead and click the like button also if you have a twitter account go ahead and follow me on twitter at ccna daily tips and if you do not have a twitter account go ahead and create a twitter account and then follow me on twitter so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one guys Bye bye